Hello, people. I just felt inspired to talk today after my classes. I'm halfway through my yoga teacher training here in Rishikesh, India, and I just had this very inspiring class today. We just switched from doing philosophy to Ayurveda classes. And if you don't know Ayurveda, it's like the ancient medicinal teachings of India. Um, But basically, we were talking today about how even like everything has different elements, like everything has is made up of the five elements. And today we were just talking about how different times of the day have different element combinations and stuff which can affect ourselves especially pertaining to our own elements that we're made up of because we all have doshas which basically if you don't know ayurveda ayurveda is basically the teaching that everything is made out of certain combinations of elements and everything has different element combinations and we have food has times of the day times of the year um that has a whole nother topic and conversation but what i wanted to talk about today was basically intuition and the whole concept of intuitive eating um because i've seen that being pushed and like being promoted a lot on social media and just in general and today i got a really good understanding of that you know um we have to actually be in tune with our intuition and feel very connected and have a very strong hearing of our intuition before we can go ahead and say you can be intuitive eating you know because in my personal life I see it all the time where I sometimes can't differentiate between desire craving and intuition because intuitive eating when you just take that term and run with it without understanding that you have to actually have a very good connection with your inner voice and your intuition can be very harmful and might not be the way you should be going about or me or anybody because being in tune with your intuition takes work and it takes time and it's not something we're really born with everybody has a different journey with being connected to their intuition but the Ayurveda class I was just in was she was explaining how every time of the day has different elements which will pull you into a certain mood and will pull you into certain cravings and will pull you into different things and depending on your your own element makeup and so let's say from the morning 6 a.m to 9 a.m for someone who's kapha which I'll just have a quick little screenshot of what that means um would mean that that energy is pulling you to be more like lazy it's pulling you to be more just chill and so some if you have kapha energy or any of the energies then you have to do kind of like the opposite in order to not get out of balance because if the time of the day is pulling you to be lazy and then you are being lazy then it's going to create this imbalance and then it changes and it's just comp it's not complicated but it's hard for me to explain here but basically what i got from the class was that um things can feel like intuition but they really can just be desires and they can really just be times of the day pulling you to certain things it can really just be emotional or mental things that are you know you're craving comfort you're craving Um, distraction, you're carrying, you know, all these different things when you think that intuitive eating is good for you, but you don't really understand this concept, that's when it becomes harmful. I think that's the point I'm getting to, that I think we should just approach this whole topic of intuitive eating very, you know, um, sensitively. And, like, I think it's something that needs to be just thought about a little more and not thrown around so much because I just even see it within my own life. I'm someone who I crave a lot of comforting foods and heavy foods and all this stuff. And if I was just mindlessly following intuitive eating, then I might be like, oh, but I'm just craving, like I'm just, my intuition is telling me I should eat a piece of cake or like my intuition is telling me that I should eat like, double the portions right now or my intuition is telling me that I shouldn't eat right now you know when in reality it could just be like these different cravings and these different pulls and your elements reacting to different elements in your environment so this is just a message that like we need to really work on our 
listen on like hearing our voice and hearing that intuition and being able to decipher between intuition and desires and cravings before we can really just dive into this intuitive eating concept and the way we can become more intuitive and be in touch with our intuition more so that we can decipher this is by you know meditation and yoga and practicing mindfulness and awareness and really being able to be an observer and a witness of your life and all these different things but these things take time and these things take effort and these things don't come um out of nowhere so um this is just my message that don't just run with everything you see online yeah that's all you know anyway that was kind of a little all over the place but that was just a little brain dump um remember to breathe deeply and live mindfully i hope this camera wasn't going in and out of focus this whole time but yeah bye